During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk about a misunderstood topic in agriculture. It is cation exchange capacity. Well, it sounds kind of complicated, doesn't it? Well, when you think <laughs> about soil, you don't really think about uh, soil as having an electrical force field going on around the soil particles, but that's exactly what they have. Soil particles have a negative electrical charge. And this is really key to understanding how nutrients work in your soils. So let's take you back to that freshman chemistry class that you had. You know, I'm really struggling to remember that. That was a long time ago. But all, <laughs> no I, know is, all I know is this. It's real simple. When you've got two magnets out there, if you've got one that is a negative charge, like your soil, what's it going to attract? Other negatively charged stuff? Nope. It's going to attract positively charged things. So when we talk about ions in the soil, they're, the positively charged ones are called cations. So that's the first word in our cation exchange capacity. Well, cations are positively charged nutrients like potassium, for example, or magnesium, or hydrogen. These are the types of nutrients that are going to attract to your soil particles and be held there. And they're held there for a number of reasons, but the most important for crop farmers is they're held there waiting for your crops, roots, to go down and extract those nutrients to feed that plant. Well, one of the things that a farmer can get on his soil test, so when the farmer takes a sample of soil, sends it in for analysis, one of the things he can get on there is called cation exchange capacity. Well, wait a and minute. Stop right there. Don't just say farmers can get on their soil test, because this is important whether you have a golf course or a lawn Good or point. a garden. Uh, regardless, if you're raising crops in soil, you need to understand what your cation exchange capacity is. And what it really tells you is how many nutrients that soil can hold. So it not only tells you how many nutrients it can hold, it's how much of anything it can hold. How much fertilizer, how much water, how much chemical, how much of everything it can hold. So cation exchange capacity is that measurement. And cation exchange capacity is really a measure of three things. It's the type of clay you have in your soil, the amount of clay, and the amount of organic matter. The higher the number, the more your soil can hold. The lower the number, the less your soil can hold. Now for small grain and corn farmers, a lot of times they're looking at how many nutrients they can apply to that soil at planting time or a little bit ahead of planting time. And cation exchange capacity, as we mentioned, tells you the holding capacity of your soil or how many nutrients that soil can hold. So you know just how many nutrients you can apply to that field without losing things because farmers and gardeners are very conscious about the environment. You don't want to throw so much plant nutrition out there that your plants will never have a chance to absorb it and it could be something that could wash away. Well, let's, let's go a step further. Okay, on your lawn, you're probably going to put some nitrogen out this spring to make your lawn a little greener. Let's get it right down to your terms. Okay, one acre is 43,560 square feet. Okay, so one one hundredth of an acre would be 435 or 435.6 square feet. So if you had a lawn, you had a, let's call it a small lawn, a 435 square foot lawn. What we're looking <laughs> at here is if you have a cation exchange capacity, you go soil test and you have a cation exchange capacity that let's call it 10. Okay, what we use this cation exchange capacity for with nitrogen is if you multiply the cation exchange capacity times 10, so if you take that 10 CEC number that we have, or cation exchange capacity, times 10, that's 100. That means in a whole acre, we can hold 100 pounds of nitrogen. Okay, so if we've got one one hundredth of an acre, how much nitrogen can we hold? A pound. A pound. Okay, so what we're saying here is if you had basically a 20 by 20 lawn, you could literally only put one pound of nitrogen out there if your cation exchange capacity was 10. If your cation exchange capacity was 20, you could put two pounds of nitrogen out there. What concerns us is that a lot of people are putting on 20 pounds or even 50 pounds of nitrogen. Well, it's in that not that expensive. Lawn. It's not that expensive. That's the whole thing. For 50 pounds of nitrogen, what are you going to spend? 20 bucks? Yep, but that's, that's it's not a real big deal to a homeowner. <laughs> but the whole thing we're getting at is this is one of the big issues we're seeing clear across the country is a lot of people are blaming farmers for over application of fertilizer, but what it comes down to when you look at the actual raw data, homeowners are probably putting on 10 times more per actual acre than what farmers are, just because, yeah, in a little 20 by 20 thing, it's no big deal. It doesn't amount to very many dollars. The problem is the environment. So we're just concerned. We just want to make sure you understand a little bit. If you were to take a soil test, you get that cation exchange capacity number, multiply that number times 10, and that'll tell you how much you can put on a whole acre. 
And remember, an acre is 43,560 square feet. So if you had one-tenth of an acre, you could put on one-tenth of that. So let's say your CEC was 20, and you multiply that times 10, you could put 200 pounds on an acre. If you had one-tenth of an acre for your lawn size, you could put on 20 pounds of nitrogen. That's it. That's all you can put out there in any one application. It is pretty important to understand what's going on with your lawn. The other thing is just to be a little bit responsible with whether it's a lawn, garden, or a whole farm and do some soil sampling there and get a complete analysis that has things like cation exchange capacity that tell you how many nutrients that soil can actually hold. Whether you have a farm or a lawn, we do suggest that you run some soil tests, find out what your cation exchange capacity is, and apply your nitrogen wisely this spring. Well, one other thing you'll want to do this spring is take care of weeds like our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?